hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome today i'm gonna show you how to make my favorite sweet potato pie it is very easy and delicious i'm gonna leave the list in the description box the sweet potatoes are already washed i'm gonna poke some holes into the sweet potatoes so that they don't explode in the oven you could do this with a knife also you could still boil it if you want to so after poking the holes i'm gonna wrap them in the, uh, the parchment paper and foil and bake it in the oven for one hour 30 minutes but you could check it every like the first one hour check it to see if it is done you don't have to bake it for one hour 30 minutes if it just gets done before one hour or at one hour it's okay i will be baking them at 350 degrees fahrenheit while my potato is baking let me prep my other ingredients i'm gonna grate my nutmeg i need a teaspoon of nutmeg i'm gonna set it aside so after one hour 30 minutes it is ready i'm gonna use a skewer to check if it goes in easily that means it is done so i'm gonna let it rest for a while to cool down because if it's too hot you will not be able to handle it so i'll let it cool down it's a little bit warm it's not hot i can handle it so i'm just gonna peel it it's very easy to just use your hands to peel off the skin while i am peeling off the skin i'm gonna remove any discolored part or a fibrous part of the potato if this is your first time on my channel or you are a returning viewer and you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever i post a video like the video share it leave a comment for me thank you and god bless you you can also follow me on other social media platforms such as facebook instagram and pinterest after peeling the potatoes i'm gonna mash them because i need four cups of uh, potato puree sweet potato puree so in order to get that i'll mash the potato then measure four cups of the potato puree special shout out to all those that have subscribed you guys are the best i love you thank you and god bless you please don't forget to like share this video and leave a comment thank you and god bless you because i don't know what two pounds of potato look like i like to measure it with cups so i'm gonna be measuring four cups of uh, potato puree if you like what you're seeing please subscribe like the video share it and leave a comment thank you so this is the last cup i still have some leftover that i'm gonna eat later so i'm gonna crack four eggs your eggs should be at room temperature After cracking the eggs, I'm gonna set the eggs aside and start beating the sweet potato puree. I'm gonna beat it until it is fluffier and in that process, I'm gonna remove all those fibrous part of the sweet potato because the more you whisk it, the easier it is to come off. Everyone likes a very smooth um sweet potato pie so i have a cup of water at the side that i'm gonna use to rinse off the the fibrous part that is stuck to the mixer if you look at it closely you're gonna notice some fiber i'm gonna dip it in water i'm gonna repeat it a couple of times until it is less fibrous see so when i'm done uh, then i'll start adding everything i'm gonna add a cup of brown sugar and mix it in this is gonna help it start uh, dissolving and incorporating into the sweet potato mixture once in a while you need to stop scrape the sides so that every part will be properly mixed in I 
after mixing in the sugar for about a few minutes I'm gonna add a cup of butter the butter should be soft at room temperature or you could use melted butter because my sweet potato is still warm it's gonna melt the butter in the butter is gonna incorporate in nicely like I said always scrape the sides too once in a while as you can see the butter has uh, incorporated into the mixture I'm gonna be adding the eggs I will add the eggs two at a time and beat them in until they are fully incorporated after everything is fully mixed in I'm gonna be adding the spices or flavors so I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of nutmeg a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon half a teaspoon of lemon extract a tablespoon of vanilla extract I'm going to mix everything till it is properly combined the batter already smells amazing you won't believe it I just started using lemon uh, extract flavor and it takes this uh, sweet potato pie to another level give this a try you're gonna be very amazed it is time to add the milk I'm gonna be using condensed milk you could use white sugar and milk if you want so I'll just add uh, a can of uh, condensed milk and mix this is the last ingredient please if you are still watching this video do not forget to like it share it invite your friends you can also follow me on other social media platforms such as facebook instagram and pinterest thank you look at this delicious goodness so when i'm done i'm gonna pour it into the pie crust i have a video on how to make this pie crust if you are interested in learning how to make this pie crust, I'm going to leave the link in the description box for you. I'm going to pour the sweet potato mixture into two 9 inch pie crust. Sweet potato pie and meat pie are my favorite pies. Some people say sweet potato is a black thing, I don't think so. I've tasted pumpkin pie and you won't believe it tastes almost similar to sweet potato pie but there is something about it that i don't like i really don't know why it could also be because i love sweet potatoes so maybe that's why i'm gonna give it a quick shake but then bake it in the oven for one hour at 350 degrees fahrenheit one hour later the pies are ready i'm not gonna cut it immediately i'm gonna leave it overnight till the next day before i cut it so i'm gonna let it cool down before i cut it so this is the next day it is time to cut into this beauty i can't wait i really can't wait to <laughs> taste it oh my god very delicious it has a very unique taste that you wonder wow what's this what's this taste it tastes so amazing look at this delicious goodness so for your thanksgiving why don't you give this recipe a try you will not be disappointed it tastes amazing i promise you if you tried this recipe let me know in the comments Thank you guys for watching. Till I see you next time. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I love you. Bye.